Hi friends! Welcome to Storytime with the Met. My name is Emily and I'm so glad that you've joined me today. We have a special story time all about winter today. We are going to read a story, take a look at a work of art, and do a project together. Let's get started. Find a cozy spot. We are going to begin with our story time song, just like we do when we're together in the museum. It goes to the tune of This Old Man. One, two, three. Welcome, friends. Get ready, get set for story time with the map where we love to read and sing and look at works of art and picture books. We we'll use our eyes to look and see. We we'll use our ears to hear stories. Now let's take a seat and give a shh. Let's begin with our first book. Nice job, friends. Today our story is called Over and Under the Snow. The words are by Kate Messner and the artwork is by Christopher Silas Neal. Let's open it up and see what we can discover. I'm going to read the words, and I need your help looking closely at the picture. Over and under the snow. Over the snow I glide, into woods frosted fresh and white. Over the snow a flash of fur. A red squirrel disappears down a crack. Where did he go? Under the snow, Dad said. Look at this great snowscape they're in. Winter, full of white. Under the snow is a whole secret kingdom where the smallest forest animals stay safe and warm. You're skiing over them now. Who do you see? Squirrel and a chipmunk fast asleep. Over the snow I glide, past beech trees rattling leftover leaves and strong silent pines that stretch to the sky. On a high branch, a great horned owl keeps watch. Under the snow, a tiny shrew dodges columns of ice. It follows a cool tunnel along the moss out of sight. Look, Dad says, tracks. Tracks always tell a story. Over the snow, a deer has crossed our path. Deep hoof prints punch through the crust, up the hill, under a tree. An oval of melted snow tells the story of a good night's sleep. Under the snow, deer mice doze. They huddle up, cuddle up against the cold in a nest of feathers and fur. Over the snow I climb, digging in my edges so I don't slide back down. Under the snow, voles scratch through slippery tunnels, searching for morsels from summer feasts. Over the snow I swoosh, down, down, faster, faster, down, faster, faster, whoops. Under the snow, a snowshoe hare watches from the shelter of spruce. Almost invisible, she smooths her fur, a coat of winter white. Can you find her? Over the snow, I glide past reeds where tadpoles play tag in springtime. Under the snow, fat bullfrog snows. They dream of sun warm days back when they had tails. Over the snow, I stand and stare. Little mountains in the marsh. Under the snow, beavers gnaw on aspen bark, settled in for supper. Can they hear my tummy rumbling too? Over the snow, stop. A sound. We stand like statues carved in ice till a bushy-tailed fox steps from the thicket, tips his ear to the ground. Listen, listen, 
listen still and sleep. Out onto the snow after an invisible dinner. His paws scratch away to find the mouse he heard screech, 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 scratching along underneath, under the snow. Over the snow I glide. A full moon lights my path to supper. Under the snow, a chipmunk wakes for a meal. Bedroom, kitchen, hallway, his house under my feet. Over the snow, I climb one last hill. Bonfire smoke rises, warm hands, hot cocoa, hot dogs sizzling on pointed sticks. Under the snow, a black bear snores, still full of October blueberries and trout. Over the snow, the fire crackles and sparks shoot up to the stars. I lick sticky marshmallow from my lips and lean back with heavy eyes. Shadows dance in the flame. Under the snow, a queen bumblebee drowses away December, all alone. She'll rule a new colony in the spring. Over the snow, I glide home on tired legs. Clouds whisper down feathery, soft lakes. Under the covers, I snuggle deep and drift into dreams of cuddling deer mice and slumbering frogs, hungry beavers and tunneling voles, drowsy bears and busy squirrels, and the secret kingdom under the snow. The end. Good listening, friends. Is it snowing where you are? Is it winter outside? It's pretty cold here. What do you see outside your window? Well, this book and thinking about all of the creatures that live in the snow reminds me of a great painting at the Met by the artist whose name is Gustave Courbet called The Deer. Can you take a look? What do you notice? What colors do you see in this painting? I see the brown of the earth and trees and rocks. I see white, that blanket of snow that covers this landscape. That's why we call it a snowscape, right? It's a picture of outdoors, but we see snow covering it all. I even see a little bit of icy blue. What other colors do you see? Now take a look again. Do you see the deer in the title of our painting? Where are they? Take a look. They're hiding in the center of the painting, at the bottom of the tree trunk. Underneath the rock, I see two deer. One's looking right back at us. What do you think he could be thinking? Now friends, it is time for us to make an art project, a layered snowscape for winter scene, just like we saw in our story and in the painting of the deer. So I'm going to show you what I made, talk about some supplies, and then you can make one all of your own. Okay, so this is my winterscape or snowscape. I have layers that show some white snow at the bottom. I made a little bear hibernating in the middle. I put some pieces of paper to remind me of dirt and leaves around him, and then I covered him up with some snow on top. Okay, ready to see what we used? So, I used a recycled jar. You can use any kind of container that you have at home, including cardboard container if you want. Right. My daughter made one too and she used a cardboard container for hers. Here she has a bunny on top of the snow, not underneath the snow. So we use a container. I used some construction paper to make my dirt 
and leaves, but you could also go outside and collect some natural materials to put in your jar or in your container of your winter seed. And I just tore it up in tiny little pieces. Right? So you can tear construction paper, tissue paper, anything you can find to make a nice, cozy, warm home underneath the snow for your creature. I use cotton balls for snow, and I just pulled it apart to make it nice and thin. You can make it as thin or keep it as thick as you want. And I also use pom-poms to make my animals. I also added some pom-poms on top for snow. You can use them however you want. And if you have little miniatures at home and you wanted to create them out of paper, you could use those too. So, I took my jar. I wanted a layer of snow at the bottom to make it nice and cozy. So I put that in there. Let's see, I'm going to take some of my paper and add a layer of dirt or leaves. Let's add some more. And then I'm going to make a black bear in here. So I'm going to put the black bear's body, and then I'm going to cover him up with some more snow. And I can just really pack it in there to have layers of my winter landscape. Okay, friends, I can't wait to see what you make. I hope that you have fun crafting your own snowscape today. It was nice to see you for story time. We hope to see you again soon, and most importantly, we wish you all a very happy new year. See you soon. Bye.